choose you, you choose all these strong female characters, which I can relate to. And yes, you can. I remember, uh, yes, because I love playing <laughs> powerful female characters, but I remember I did one movie where I kind of had to play this sort of meek, timid woman, and uh, somebody close to me said, oh, you'll knock that out the park. And I'm like, this is going to be the hardest work I've difficult. had to do. And, I, and that's what you said. You said I would have to study like six months to play this yeah. more submissive, kind of passive yeah. sort of character. So w what is it in you that drives you towards these more powerful characters? Because Ma Maria, Maria right here, <laughs> this girl is powerful she's, in this movie. She's no joke. She's powerful. <laughs> Just, I'm... I'm a woman. Yeah. I've, I've, I'm a real girl. I'm a real woman. I, I've, I've only been around my entire life. Even people, even women that I'm waiting to cross the street with, and you feel a strength in women. Mm -hmm. Besides the us being very demure and beautiful and sexy and and you know nurturing, there's also a strength. It's part right. of our our composition. Right. We're just um, we're not encouraged to ignite it. Mm -hmm. We're not encouraged to access it and to let it shine because it intimidates men right. but but I think it takes a real real man to to live beside a, a real woman to allow women to be a real woman you also been very vocal about Latinos creating their own opportunities yes. and that I think that's hugely important and why is yes. it important to you to vocalize that I think it's not just Latinos it's I I would love it's it's what kind of what kind of path do I want to create for myself in terms of the kind of world that I would want to be in. And mm -hmm. now that I'm getting ready to start the the most special passage of life, which is by becoming a parent, mm -hmm. I want to I want to be a part of a world, or at least behave that way, that is equal, that is fair, mm -hmm. that is even. So it's not just with Latinos. I cannot wait until the word ethnic is erased from our Ooh. everyday vocabulary. You know, in America, everything that's not American is ethnic. But outside of America, anything that is American is ethnic. So mm -hmm. in reality, it's all what what is. There's no such thing as being darker or lighter. Right. When in reality, you've just been this way your whole life. Unless mm -hmm. you're comparing me to something, right. then I'm always going to be taller or smaller, skinnier or bigger, or lighter or darker. But if we remove that thing of, of comparing ourselves to things, and my mother always always taught us, every time we used to go, oh, but they don't want to let me play. Who are they? Right. Who are these they people? Who, who's them? You know, that, oh, we've been trying to fight hard, but they won't let us. Who is they? Right. The minority has become right. a majority in every way, shape, or form. So I need to believe that in order for me to actively live that mm -hmm. way and, and hopes that that will be a much more stronger message yes. for people. I, I can fight, but, but I, or I can educate, yes. you know. So I rather, I rather educate people. I feel like, for instance, Book of Life is, is a story about, about celebrating life. The Mexican community has taken great pride for centuries centuries mm -hmm. in celebrating their dead right. with love and great memories yes. and, and color. So that it excites me that, that I'll be able to, to, to share and educate the world on a culture that we've been living, neighboring to right. for so long and we know very little about. Yes. It is the most amazing and rich population yes. I have ever seen in the world. And, and this is just one little aspect about them that makes them even greater, yes. that we'll be able to show uh, uh, the world. So I take great pride in that. Boom.